Hi, welcome back to Crochet Creations and it's Vlogmas day number 10. <laughs> Grab a cup and join me. Today's coffee advent of the day is Oh Fudge. <laughs> it's really, um, to me, it tastes like dark chocolate. That is exactly the flavor that I'm getting out of this. That's why I really like it. Because when I drink hot chocolate, it's like, eh, it, it reminds me of just like a regular chocolate flavor. And I, I'm not a milky type of chocolate. I like the dark chocolate flavor. So this is, I like it. It reminds me of the, the dark chocolates. Um, anytime that there's a box of candies at work or somewhere like that, I always look through, is there any dark chocolates? And that one that stands out is that one square that's usually a nougat or um, they call it a uh, raspberry or something. But it's long, it's dark chocolate, and it has the pink inside. That's the one I pick every time. <laughs> It's either raspberry or dark chocolate raspberry. That's the one I like. And that's the coffee is my favorite too. All right. So how is everybody today? I hope you're having a good day. Movie for the evening is number 10 for day 10. And it is number 23 on the countdown. And it says Love Actually. I've never heard of it. It's a 2003 comedy drama romance. It follows the lives of eight very different couples in dealing with their love lives in various loosely interlated tales, all set during a frantic month before Christmas in London, England. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's got Hugh Grant in it. <laughs> we need to watch this one, girls. You know who you are. Martine McCutcheon. I don't know. Know her or him. Liam Neeson and Laura Linney. <laughs> I'm going to have to put that one on the list. Okay. Seven on the star rating, so it's not too bad. <laughs> Well, I am getting behind. I don't have any new ornaments to show. So what I'm going to do today is a little bit different, but I am going to um, tell you a little story. And I want to remind you that I've only been on uh, YouTube and the crochet community for a little bit over a year. I started in November of last year 2019 and one of the first people that was another YouTube person at the time sent me my very first Christmas card and it had an ornament in it and since then I have not talked to her I haven't uh, I don't I don't know if anyone else has but she was Marianne from Yarn Happens and she sent me a card and in it was this little tiny Christmas wreath. And you can feel this was a, it feels like a milk jug ring. And it's done in a very pretty green. And she put some, she put something on here. And I think they're glued on some sparkles. I don't know what it is. I really don't. And then of course she, she put on a, a ribbon but it's really tiny as you can see the ribbon isn't much bigger than my finger fingernail and it's just perfect I just love it so again I have one and a half inch rings I found at uh, Joann's in a little bag and making those is real quick and decorating them with anything you can find any little pieces of anything uh, maybe even a tiny little uh, 
this is a bell. It's the really, really tiny one. I don't even think, yeah, I guess you can hear it. But even that would be just adorable hanging in the middle of that. So that is something I wanted to share and say hi to Marianne. If she's around, if she's watching, I don't know. But if you are, Merry Christmas. And I hope that you see this and uh, come out and say hi. Don't be shy. <laughs> okay, so finishing up my secret sister. I need to get this packaged up tonight and I'm going to draw a winner and I am not going to reveal who that winner is. I am going to let them figure it out by when they receive it and then I will, uh, I, then she will come on the Facebook page or something and let me know. So I decided to send her two of these. Uh, Red Heart Scrubbies in that peach colorway. I'm going to send out two of them. And then I also picked out some... Now, these... <laughs> I thought that this was kind of a, a cool thing to do, is let people try different things that they may not have ever bought themselves. So this is an ice yarn, and it has little poofs of color Every so often, there are approximately three um, plies of yarn. One is one is white, or right now in this section, two is white, and one is the the colored. And as it goes along, all of a sudden, it just poofs out a uh, maroon, and then in other places, it poofs out a blue, and it. It can be used for things to make for Christmas. And, you know, it's a novelty yarn, but it's fun. So I'm going to put two of these in my Secret Sister uh, package. So I hope she likes those. And then I thought, what the heck, I'll, I'll send one over to the Reindeer Express. Why not? Okay, so now the ornament of the night. <laughs> Got I got to show you this, okay? So here's here's the crochet magazine 20, for winter 2020. The crochet, the, the one that just says crochet on it. And in that magazine was these ornaments. And I said, what in the heck are these? So I read it. And so I'm going to share it with you. All you do is take a white yarn. Um, I am going to use the cotton cakes. Um, one of those uh, that was all white was the cream cotton. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Take, take whatever you want. But I'm going to use the cotton because it's a little bit stiffer. And you want a little bit stiffer. And all you do is chain 40 or 50 chains. That's all you do. So you got this long white chain, right? You could do it in green. You could do it in green. You could do it in variegated Christmas yarn. Whatever you wanted to do it in. And then you take craft glue. And you take um, equal amounts of craft glue, like a half a cup and a half a cup of water and stir it up in a bowl. And then you take your chain and you take it and you put that whole chain into the craft glue and get that yarn wet. And then they're saying take like a parchment paper or something and lay it down. So that underneath it you might have a piece of paper and you, you could draw like a Christmas tree um, type of design or a, a circle with squigglies or a star or that looks like an angel anything you wanted to draw on that piece of paper put the parchment over it and this is where the kids can do this because the kids can chain they can learn how to crochet and they can chain a big long chain and they can put it in the glue and then they can 
squeeze off the excess glue and take that chain and they can put it over their design and they can drape it across each other and let it dry like that. Now you can take pins and pin the parts that are overlapping each other and then put a little extra glue right on where the pin is and so the pin will come out later. But my point is that this is so easy you don't need a pattern. You just take the yarn make it in any shape and then it'll glue it'll it'll stiffen up in that shape isn't that really cool i love it i love that idea and if you did the one that looks like a tree and you just went like this back and forth and got a little smaller at the top and larger at the bottom and it was in green how cute is that that is a really good idea so I shared that with you today. <laughs> <clears throat> so I started the Yoda hat and I put it in this bag and I just, I didn't even cinch it up. I just threw it in the bag and brought it home. And I am using the uh, Lovingly Nye Yoda hat tutorial for the three to six months. And so far, I have, I think, six rows done, and I'm using a Premier every day in this colorway. And this colorway is Sage Heather. Sage Heather. It doesn't look Heather to me, but it's okay. And so I have six, I have six rows done. <laughs> I'm using an H. On this one so that is an easy pattern so far I'm sure I'll have it done in no time now I gotta tell you I was watching the tutorial and down at the bottom underneath where they recommend more videos guess what was there it was a tutorial for the Yoda feet for little shoes that I'm like, okay, I got to make those. So I'm going to make those. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm excited about that because I wanted to, you know, add them in. <laughs> that is a great idea. So who has everybody been watching for Vlogmas? Have you been watching um, someone every day or are you hitting and missing or you're behind on some people? Because I've been watching, you know, my friends like the Crochet Witch, which is Heather. I watch her every day. And I watch Craft House Magic every day. I love her. I always have and I always will. It's a real, she works really hard on her videos. She is a great edit, editor. It's just beautiful. Just beautiful what she does. And her husband's in there. Vlogmas with her. And he has his own advents. Two of them. And they always have like a lot of content. A, a, a really a lot of stuff last year's vlogmas they went out on the town a couple times one of the places that they went was the harry potter museum or something like that oh my gosh well i will never get there so that was fun you want to check that out i i really enjoyed it well because if you find anybody that you really like that's doing that, the Vlogmas, I would like to know. Um, a couple other ones that I've watched are uh, Sandy. I said I was watching Sandy. Um, I'm watching um, Summer. It's Tips and Stitches. I watch hers. And uh, I don't know. There's a couple other ones. I just, I go through and I grab it real quick I know one of my friends said that they were watching the crazy sock lady because you know she I watch her anyway she's good and I watch uh you know all the guys all of them and they're hardly any of the guys are doing vlogmas but Ross is doing it so I watch him but I watch he's he's doing the December daily or something like that and uh, so all the guys just put out the regular podcast. I watch them. I've And that's the, where my problem is. I've got to watch my regular podcasts. And they're fibercast. Now they're fibercast. <laughs> I just love those guys. 
All right, so we'll go on to um, my advent with Kim. So I'll pull out the next bag in line. And uh, I did have time to work on my, my uh, scarf last night. But I didn't is uh, I didn't have time to work on hardly anything. That's why I don't have anything to show you. I've got to catch up and get some stuff worked on um, tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday. So, and then not show you everything. So that way I'll have content for next week. <laughs> so here's the little bags that Kim sends me and this one says on it gem state yarns rainbow set super wool super wash wool 80 percent 20 percent polyamide so it's it's very similar to the one that we just had yesterday only it's a different color so look at that oh how brilliant isn't that beautiful 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 color yep so i've been taking these apart every night making it a ritual. Usually I fail at keeping up with, uh, you know, stuff, stuff like, you know, deadlines. And I, I'm not one to keep that. I like to do my crafts as, uh, relaxing, not a lot of pressure, please. I know a lot of you are the same way, but this hasn't been bad. I have kept up, and so I will show you yesterday's progress. And so I have nine days done. So it's getting to be hard to show all of it in the camera, but there is your ninth day. And how pretty is that? And all the scarves are starting to show up. I think there's at least three or four of them in my Facebook group. We have a post for using Christie's scarfy pattern. And they're starting to show up. <laughs> this will be day 10's color. And that will go great with the next color. So, yeah. Um, if there's anything in the video that you have noticed that's different, let me know down in the comments because I might just, if somebody gets it, I'm going to be watching. Take care. Subscribe. Hit the bell. All that crazy crap. Talk to you later. Bye now.